AP Chemistry Screencast 2.8 Theoretical and Actual Yield. Now if you're actually mixing chemicals, and we will be doing that, for example we'll be doing the metal carbonate lab, you become acutely aware that things don't always go according to plan. The actual amount of stuff that you make when you mix chemicals may be less or even more than what it's supposed to be, right? And what it's supposed to be is the theoretical yield. If you mix 10 grams of A, you may make 12 grams of B for a chemical reaction. However, you might only get 4 grams of product, meaning that your yield is very low, or you might get more, which seems strange, but the usual suspect is water. You're just weighing it while it's wet. So the actual yield can vary from the theoretical yield. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Theoretical yield is the maximum amount of product that you can possibly make without cheating, right? It's, it's got to be pure stuff. The actual yield is what you actually got. Now, for students, they usually benefit greatly by saying the actual yield is like your score on a test. The theoretical yield is like a perfect score, and it's nothing more than that. And you, a nice way to learn this is to get a sort of an emotional response to it. Feel if the yield is lousy or awesome, just like your grade on a test might be lousy or awesome. Okay, so it means 100% yield for the th theoretical, usually less for the actual yield. That's not always true. It can be more. And here's the formula. If you're a formula person, I don't normally think like this, but there it is. It's the actual over the theoretical type 100 times 100. Okay, the theoretical yield of carbon dioxide for the combustion of butane, we always seem to be burning butane with plenty of oxygen, so we can ignore it as how many grams. And if we only got 25, what's our yield? So it looks like we're going to go ahead and do a three-step gram-to-gram com uh, conversion. Let's start by doing that. So 50 grams can give us how many grams of carbon dioxide? Well, it's a three-step conversion. We're going to grams of carbon dioxide, so let's do that. 58 grams is still a mole of, car of butane. That's 4 times 12 plus 10 times 1. Those Each mole of butane produces 8 moles of carbon dioxide. In a previous slide, we showed that the balanced chemical equation is 2 moles of butane react with 13 moles of oxygen to make 8 moles of carbon dioxide and 10 moles of water. That's where the 2 and 8 came from. Take a look at a previous screencast if you need to verify that. And a mole of carbon dioxide weighs 44 grams. Notice this is set up so that the units convert nicely. So the theoretical yield is 151.5 grams, but they only got 25 grams. I want to tell you right now, that is one lousy yield. That is certainly an F on a test in terms of a percent, right? 25 out of a possible 151. That's why I don't even think in terms of this. I already know what to divide by what in terms of what you got compared to what you could have gotten. And it is only a 16.5% yield. This is theoretical and actual yield.